Bagni-6 is an intercontinental ballistic missile being developed by the DRVO for the use of the Indian Armed Forces. Bagni-6 will be a four-stage intercontinental ballistic missile, which is in the hardware development phase. After its design phase was completed, Bagni-6 is expected to have multiple independently targetable reentry vehicle as well as maneuverable reentry vehicle MARV and these maneuverable warheads will give Agni-6 an extended range exact figure of which is currently classified it will be taller than its predecessor Agni-5, and is expected to be flight tested by 2017. It is reported to be the latest and most advanced version among the Agni missiles. According to sources, Agni-6 missile is likely to carry up to 10 MER warheads and will have a strike range of 8,000 km to 12,000 km. Pending worldwide speculation about the futuristic Agni-6 missile, the Defense R&D organization ERVO has briefed Business Standard about the direction of India's ballistic missile development program after the Agni-5 enters Sir 6 CE. Probably in 2015, DRVO Chief Drive VK Saraswat, and the sole program Chief Drive A6 Nash Chander, say the Agni 6 project has not been formally sanctioned. However, the missile's specifications and capabilities have been decided and development is proceeding the pace. Once the ongoing Agni 5 program concludes flight testing, the Defense Ministry mob will formally OK the Agni-6 program and allocate funding. Chander says the Agni-6 will carry a massive three-ton warhead, thrice the weight of the one-ton warhead that Agni missiles have carried so far. This will allow each Agni-6 missile to launch several nuclear warheads MULT IPLE independently targetable reentry warheads MERVs with each warhead striking a different target. Each warhead, called Maneuverable Reentry Vehicle MARV performs evasive maneuvers while hurtling down towards its target, confusing enemy air defense missiles that are trying to destroy them mid-air. The DRVO is at an advanced stage of developing these warhead technologies. But the difficult challenge is building a booster rocket that can propel a 3-ton payload to targets 5,000 kilometers away. This weighs almost as much as the satellite payload carried by the Indian Space Research Organization's much larger and heavy A6ER Global Satellite Launch Vehicle GSLV. Our ballistic missiles must be compact and road mobile, even the Agni-6 with its heavy payload. We will do this by building the first stage with composites, fitting the Agni-6 with India's first composite 40-ton rocket motor. This is a technical challenge but we have good capability in lightweight composites, says Chander. The road mobile Agni-6 would also have stringent limits on its length. It must be carried on a standard size trailer that can move from one part of the country to another, turn on our roads, cross our bridges and climb our heights. As the payload weight increases, we will require more advanced technologies to keep the missile's length constant, explains Chander. Coaxing higher performance from smaller rockets becomes especially important in submarine-launched ballistic missiles SLBMs which can be no longer than 30 meters so that they can fit into the cramped confines of a submarine. Even long-range SLBMs that can fly 14,000 kilometers, like the Chinese JL-2 are built no longer than 30 meters. The DRVO faces this challenge as it develops the K4 SLBM for the country's Arahant class nuclear propelled ballistic missile submarines SSBNs. Eventually the Agni-6 will be no taller than the Agni-5, i.e. about 70 meters, says Chander. It will, however, be a 6 ER and thicker, slightly over 2 meters which will cater for the different shape of the MERD payload. The time frame for developing a new missile system is about five years and the DRVO has mostly achieved this in the Agni program, says Chander. Calculating five years from April 2012, 
when the Agni 5 had its debut launch. The first test of the Agni 6 could happen in 2017. The DRDO says the Agni 6 will have a longer range than the 5,000 km Agni 5, but is not mentioning figures. The Mars and MERS will give us extended range. I will not be able to tell you how much because that is secret, Saraswap told Business Standard. Ballistic calculations, however, suggest that at least some of the MERD warheads on the Agni 6 would reach at least 6,000 km. In a missile that travels 5,000 km, the last MERD warhead released flies an extra 1,000 km. Currently, the DRDO is readying for the second test next month of the Agni 5 Intermediate Range Ballistic Missile. This will be fired in the same configuration as its debut test a year ago, in order to establish the missile's reliability. A third test by N2013 will see the missile fired from a canister. We will conduct at least five six more Agni-5 tests before the missile enters operational Sear 6 CE. After the repeat test this month or the next. We will conduct to test firings from a canister. Then the military units that will operate the Agni-5 will conduct two three test firings as part of the induction process. Even after induction, the users conduct test firings as part of the Strategic Forces Command Training Plan, says A6 Nash Chander. The Agni-5 is a three-stage solid fuel missile but its first stage consists of a metallic rocket motor, while the second and third stages have composite motors. Agni-6 must be compact and road mobile. This can be achieved by building the first stage with composites, which is expected to weigh around 40 tons. This is a technical challenge but DRVO has the capability in lightweight composites. The road mobile Agni-6 would also have stringent limits on its length since it must be carried on a standard size trailer that can move from one part of the country to another, turn on narrow roads, cross bridges and climb heights. As the payload weight increases, it will 